Five children in two weeks either hurt or killed at the hands of an adult. The latest case was yesterday in Albion, Washington, near Pullman. The five-month-old boy has been upgraded to serious condition. His mother's 21-year-old boyfriend, Nathan Cranfield, has been charged with assault. A 25-year-old babysitter is accused of shoving and killing a three-year-old Post Falls boy last week. And the boyfriend of a Spokane woman is accused of killing one-year-old Santiago Two Hearts and assaulting the child's four-year-old brother. KXLY 4's Tori Brunetti is live tonight. And Tori, are child abuse cases on the rise? Well, right now there are no complete child abuse statistics for 2010, but members of law enforcement, doctors, and child care workers are all talking, and they all say it seems like they have been noticing more abuse cases. Sometimes people get overwhelmed and just snap. It seems more and more parents are snapping, lashing out at their children, and the aftermath is irreversible or fatal, leaving some parents with a lifetime of regret. He just was the happiest baby I could ever have. He was the perfect baby. Santiago is one baby whose life abruptly ended because police say a man lost his temper. That man, his mother's boyfriend, now charged with murder. The fear among doctors and child abuse experts is the number of babies that will share Santiago's fate is increasing. Um, I can't tell you for sure whether we're seeing an increase, but it certainly feels that way. Um, and we've all in the pediatric community been talking about that. Child care workers and pediatricians all say they feel like they are seeing more and more child abuse cases. Dr. Michelle Messer is one of the pediatricians in town that evaluates children of suspected abuse, and she says it's something she is doing more and more. I get consulted for to come and evaluate a kid for child abuse often. Um, it's monthly and usually sometimes, you know, even more than that. Partners with family and children in Spokane have had 18 physical child abuse cases bad enough to require hospitalization since January, a number they say is high. DSHS says in 2009 statewide they know of three child abuse related deaths. This year, there have already been four. My take on that is that the economy has a lot to do with that. Um, when people are stressed for financial reasons, sometimes it's uh, a little bit more uh, typical to take it out on a child. Dr. Messer says in addition to the economy, she thinks a decrease in support services is also leading to more child abuse cases. I spoke with Sacred Heart today as well, and they said they're putting together new pamphlets that they're going to hand out to new mothers before they leave the hospital on prevention of child abuse. On the Sky Deck, Tori Brunetti, KXOY4 HD News. And if you think you are witnessing a case of child abuse and the child is in immediate danger, you should call 911. If you suspect a case of child abuse, you can call 1 866 and harm. That's 1 866 363 4276. A person will answer your call 24 hours a day, seven days a week.